Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer Similar 19. I'm back here on Midwest Dairy by Brockama. Doing up some small square bales with the 2520 John Deere throw baler. Last video kind of crossed over at the same time as Rockama released the map, so for those that don't already know it's out, I figured I would do a release video. Also brought the 1030 case back in. Got some more stories on that, and I'm also going to reveal the next map I'll be doing videos on see if this is gonna quite make it now oh, we got one down I knew my grandpa had a T24 John Deere throw baler by talking to my uncles one day. He had actually bought two brand new ones over the years. My one uncle said he also had a New Holland throw baler. I was always thinking he had the uh, Oliver. But he might have actually had that too. We're getting pretty full here. Point where we're going to have to start stacking. So I think we'll move on to what else we got. Also got a 8410 John Deere and a Vermeer round baler. Alright, so I brought the 1030 case here in. Remember at one time my grandpa had somebody come in at the, what we call the Bowman farm that you rented hay off of. Normally, I always did square bales, but my grandpa had one of my uncle's brother in laws come in and do some round bales. So they just used the 930 case to haul them around. A similar setup like this. Obviously, without the European signs on the back there. Oh, looks like it's going to start raining, so we'll still continue on. But so it's pretty much the same setup. Except the forks were actually used to pull the wagon around. You just drop the forks down and then unhooked from the bale wagon. This is the closest thing I could find. But it's still not right. The uh, it's made for smaller bales, which I can't find. The good part about that was when they brought the round baler out. There was that uh, many less square bales that I would have to help with. So my Uncle John would haul them from the Bowman farm to the dairy farmer, which is about 20 miles away from the farm. Made quite a few trips with the 930 case. I believe the 
bail wagon had eight bales at a time on it. Yeah, we're getting getting kind of sunk in the mud there. I don't know how well it's going to be to unload these. I'd like to give these to the parlor cows, but we'll see if we can even get in there. Gotta make sure that the bale spikes are pretty low, otherwise it hangs up and you can't turn very good. Yeah, it might be a little too narrow, but we'll try. They're just making it. Oh, they're already taking them. Here we go. A lot easier to get rid of them than it was to place them on there, I tell you. Well, looks like we're going to have to try to make our way around here. Next time around, there's a new class small square bale pack. I think I'll bring that out. Yeah, we can still bail in the rain. Don't try it at home. So we got our 8410, the 605M Premier Round Baler. Actually got to ride in a 8300 John Deere, the farmer that rents my uncle's land while he was out round baling. He actually had a Vimir round baler. He had talked about how all on those big round bales, how they had thought it would be faster, more efficient by actually hauling them on a gooseneck trailer. But by the time you got done strapping the bales down and then getting where you had to unload them then unstrap them 
It was a lot more work than just hauling it as far as they had to. Unless you're a huge farm, a lot of times you don't have the fancy auto load trailers. I have to double check, but I think this 8410 is another. Uh, Wade Mitch mod. There's Wade Mitch mod in editing. So in the next map I am hopefully be able to do some videos on would be Quad County by Rockama. Yeah, I mean uh you guys hanging through the whole video for that. I meant to announced that earlier so I'm hoping I'll be on that map next time We'll do one more bale here and then I think we'll grab the case and do a little square bailing. Got the New Holland small square barreler at the end of the field. We can try using that on the case. Every once in a while, Grandpa would put the 930 case on the baler.
These are kind of heavy rows, so we'll see how it acts. At least we got straight lines where we don't have to worry about missing. Too much. <laughs> and nice with that adjustable belt thrower on the John Deere. New Holland tends to get jumpy sometimes when the, well we lost one back there with the uh, heavy rows of hay. But instead of just misses this time. I do remember it was actually the when I was too young to actually help bale. Maybe it could drag bales here and there, but I remember my uncle there, there goes it. Oh <laughs> god, I'm going all over. But some of my uncle's friends would help bale. They had just uh Standard baler had to stack them by hand on the flatbed hay rack. Hoping not to get caught up in the mud here. We're gonna have to turn it off and get straight here. We got one already wanting to come out there. As soon as it grabs some hay, it's gonna all well, drop instead. That would go flying. I remember on the Freeburg farm, my grandpa rented for a little while before the Bowman farm. We were going to store some hay in the machine shed out there. They had actually. stored corn in there before my grandpa rented it and apparently rats really like corn because I've never seen so many rats <laughs> never had a rat problem on the other farms I think that's going to do it for this time hope you guys enjoyed the video and some of the new equipment. Now we got bales flying all over. But thanks for watching everybody and we will see you next time.